Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you, you can create a cover for your Kindle ebook that you've written without spending hundreds of dollars on Photoshop. It's a very simple process. We're going to go to Paint. Now, this is XP Professional that we're using, uh, Service Pack 3. If you have a different version of Windows, I also have uh, uh, versions of this video that I've created in um, Windows uh, 7 and uh, home premium and also in Windows Vista so that you can do this in any of those three but anyway first off we come up to accessories again we come down to start all programs and accessories and then we look for paint and once it opens we need to change the aspect ratio the pixel size of this file to match what is required by Kindle now this is December 2011 right now when I'm recording this video and what's required at this point is 400 by 600 pixels so we're going to click on attributes image and attributes and then it's already set to width of 400 so 400 wide and a height of 600 we're going to click and it's already set to pixels we're going to click OK boom instantly changes to what we want so you notice 400 wide 600 tall over here is the little paint can it says fill with color it's already selected on black we're gonna click on it I'm gonna click file and save and then I'm gonna choose the desktop and then I'm gonna change this to a JPEG just personal preference and then from there I've actually got <clears throat> a file I was playing with earlier I'm gonna save over the top of it but I typically call it something like my Kindle cover something to help me know what the files named so I have a basic black background I personally prefer black backgrounds so if, you, if you've seen any of my other videos that I'm doing for, for Vista or Windows 7, you'll notice that I use a black background. Now that I saved it, I'm going to come to the desktop, and here's uh, the ferret file that I saved. I'm going to right-click on it and say Open With Paint, and this way I can edit it. And I'm going to go Edit, Select All. You can also click con hold down Control ctrl on the keyboard and click A. And then I'm going to hit Control c to copy it or Edit Copy either way. I'm going to come back down to my Kindle cover and I'm going to paste it. Now you can do Control V or Edit Paste either way. I'm going to more or less center the file, the, the image in the center of it. I like where that's at. I'm going to click off of it. And if you happen to not like it, you can, you can click and move it over. Now if you move it over, you'll notice you may get a sliver there of something. So if I move it back and I don't quite get all of it covered, I can click on my paint can and get rid of it. I've got a little bit of practice in paint. I'm not the uh, the Picasso of paint but I've got a little bit of practice with it I'm gonna save the file which I can go file save or I can click control s to save it one of the things I've done to make this easier for myself so I wouldn't forget what I was doing was I uh, what I want to name the book etc is I have created a uh, a document in wordpad just opened it temporarily and I I put the name of the file that I wanted in it so I could just put it across the top first off I'm gonna click on the text I'm gonna choose that I want it to be transparent and what that means is the text will just sit on top of the image and not create something in the background now the difference between that is gonna be apparent here in just a second first off I'm gonna click on the on the color I want which is white I've selected I want it to be transparent and I'm gonna click up here at the top it's gonna to let me choose my font I'm gonna say 12 for the moment and then I'm gonna size the box you notice I grab the edge of the box and it goes from a an arrow to this sort of double arrow at a diagonal and I've chosen how I want it I'm gonna choose the font I want which is down towards the bottom and that is gonna be Times New Roman and so I'm gonna click in the box and let's go a little larger let's see what we've got here that's gonna be pretty small let's make it 22 um, I kinda like that let's go with that so we're gonna choose whoops excuse me 22 and then I'm gonna type I'm gonna actually paste control V uh, wasn't quite enough room to get all the text in there so we're gonna bring it down a little bit let's go to 18 okay there we go Gabriel Jennings and the ferret freedom fighters there's a couple things you can do here you can space it over you notice it's not quite centered and you can you can actually space it over a little bit to sort of center it it's not as robust as an expensive software suite but you can you can do like so I personally happen to like it over with the align left so I'm gonna move it back to the align left position but anyway there at the top of the window I have Gabriel Jennings and the ferret freedom fighters I'm gonna click off of it and then I'm still selected on text so I'm gonna click and make a little text box and then 
center this and then I'm going to come back to my document book one of the free ferret uh, I'm sorry book one of the free ferrets plural saga and then I'm going to come down below it so you notice at the top I have a very simple uh, title and then the subtitles at the bottom and then below that I'm going to put my name written by Paul Buckner and I'm probably going to reduce the font size a little bit let's go down just a hair a little less ostentatious um, see if I can separate that out looks like it wants to increase the font size of both of these so what I can do is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to take this box reduce it down a little bit and then below it I'm going to add a second text box or a third in, to be specific and I'm going to paste into it written by Paul Buckner and I'm going to change that size that's on the 16 I like that's a little smaller a little less imposing and then <clears throat> it looks like to me it's a little far to the left so I'm going to select it with a text box you can click to the left or the right of something and hold down the, the left mouse button move over the top of it like dragging a dip net and then when you let go it has selected it if you don't know how to do that now you do if you did know how I wasn't trying to insult your intelligence I'm going to click along the edge of it and then move it over Oh, excuse me there get rid of this here and I'm gonna switch back rather I'm sorry up here to the select option I just created a new text box and I had to get rid of it there for a second and I'm gonna come up and move it over and you notice I've got that little white bit but I already taught you kinda of how to get rid of that so I like where that's at I'm gonna click back on the paint can I'm gonna click on black and click in the box <clears throat> now I'm gonna hit control s to save it that's my file I can then upload that file <clears throat> to amazon.com through the KDP process and I'll have a video on that here shortly here's my Kindle cover and that's exactly what it looks like um, I may tweak it a little bit but that's the gist of what I'm gonna do and put out there uh, for my book so uh, come down below the video you're watching if you want to see more about this book uh, click the drop down below the video you're watching and there's a link directly to my book out on amazon.com so you can kinda see what the finished product looks like but I hope that helps you in your quest to get your Kindle cover out there and functioning have yourself a great day now Bye.